In this video, I'm going to show you a complete Black River fingerboard setup. I'm Tom, a Black River rider, and I hope this video will help you make an informed decision. Let's look at the parts of a fingerboard. Of course, we've got the board. So this board has a graphic on, and it looks like it's 32 millimeters wide. Then we have the trucks. These are the metal parts at the top and the bottom of the board. First, let's look at the parts of a complete fingerboard. Here we have the deck. It looks like it's 32 millimeters wide and it has the classic concave shape. So this is the center of the board and how much it dips in. Then for the kicks, on your left is the tail. On your right is the nose. You'll notice that they have a slightly different shape. Then we have the trucks. These are the metal points at the nose and tail of the complete fingerboard. We have the bearing wheels. Of course, we have four affixed to the trucks. Now let's dive a little deeper into the setup. On the top, we've got the rip tape. You'll notice this is slightly different from a skateboard grip tape. There's no grittiness. It's nice and soft on your fingers. In terms of the assembly of the truck, we have bushings. As you can see, these are orange. Affixed to the top of the kingpin of the truck, we have the lock nuts. These are what securely holds the bushings and the truck in place. We also have lock nuts inside of the wheel, again, this helps secure the wheels perfectly in place. We then have the screws. So these are mounted from the top of the deck into the trucks. You can see that they're gold here. This setup is not just a toy. It's a precision tool for your fingerboarding. And what's more, Black River produces all of these parts within a 20 kilometer radius from the headquarters. That means everything from the deck grip, the trucks, the wheels, everything is made, handmade locally. I hope this video was useful in showing you the single parts of how a complete is made. 